Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and we're fixing to go for a trike ride. This is Trike Man, and we're going to go triking. That is a Liberty Electric trike from libertyelectrictrikes.com. Check them out. If you decide to buy one, you can. It, you can use Rusty50. You get a $50 discount. And what else? But, yeah, it's a Liberty trike. I'll show you. There's a, you can see it right here. There's a little sign right up in there, Liberty trike. And yeah, it's got all kinds, it's got a cute little gauge here that shows you your speed, and it's got speed levels, but you can go to their website, and uh, you'll see videos that you can watch and see how it all works, but it's battery operated, and uh, yeah, pretty comfortable, and I enjoy it, but it's a beautiful day here in Brackettville, Texas, and so I'm going to go take a trike ride, here we go, here we go right now, I think, if I get a, got it in gear, whoops, I got it. It also has reverse. You can put it in reverse and back up. That's what reverse is for, isn't it? So here we go. Why am I not? Let me do something here. Uh, I'm checking my speed levels. Okay, let's try that now. Here we go. Yeah, the battery's got about, uh, shows about 60% power level. How, good, how long is that good for? Sheesh, longer than you want to ride. But here at Fort Clark Springs, folks, there are bike and trike paths everywhere. I mean, it's, uh, this used to be an old fort. A big fort at one time. I don't know how many thousand troops were here, but there were several many years ago. And all these old paths, this was once paved. You can't hardly see the pavement now, but it was. It's a little rough, but not too bad, actually. And uh, yeah, we'll just go trike around a little bit and let you see uh, Mother Nature here in Brackettville. It's mostly uh, mesquite and prickly pear cactus. Yeah, it had a, a little, it was making a little popping noise the other day, and I don't know what happened, but it went away. It ain't doing it now. But it is nice. It's, it's about 80 degrees right now, perfect time to be out riding an electric trike. And there's, very rarely do you ever see anybody on these trails. I mean, you see how well uh, used they are, but... Uh, at the times I use them, I rarely see anybody. I mean, I use them, I go walking in the morning around 7 o'clock, and then, like right now, it's about 3 p.m., close. And it's uh, it's pretty private. And you see deer, uh, sometimes you see deer, turkey, rabbits. Uh, I don't know, that's about it. I haven't seen anything else yet. I'm hand holding the, the phone. Uh, so I had a, a holder for the handlebars, a, a phone holder, but it, it, since this thing has absolutely no shocks, <clears throat> no shocks at all other than your body, uh, it, uh, it was a little too bouncy. Even the video stabilization couldn't straighten it out. So I just thought I'd take a short trike ride. It is a beautiful afternoon. It's a Friday afternoon. But you can go all over. I mean, I can go all the way. I can go all the way into town, to Brackettville, if I want to, and go uh, get my mail and uh, get groceries if I wanted to. Because to the to the grocery store from right here, the small little grocery store called Lowe's it's about uh, oh uh, two miles a little over two miles one way but if you get one of these electric trikes or any kind of electric trike or bike it's a good idea to put that green slime in the tires why well because it if you run over a little thorn there's a lot of thorns stick burrs and all kind of stuff out here and these little tires aren't that thick. So if you put some of that in there, knock on wood, I 
had it had the other electric trike and I had that green slime in there. <clears throat> and the only time I had a flat was before I put it in there and then after that never. Yeah, here's a there's a sign. This was actually some old fort signs. It says fence and if you go to the right there is actually a fence there right by the highway. And then the, if you go to the left, that is to what's called Scales Road. Apparently there were some scales where they weighed stuff years ago. And then right up here on the right is the Thousand Man Auditorium. I've probably told you all this in other videos. But yeah, you go right up in here and they call this the Thousand Man Auditorium. We've been here before. I'm just going there again because I haven't been there today. It's all, all the building is pretty much gone now. Well, in fact, the building is gone. You've got the foundation. But it's a big place, I'm telling you. I mean, it, it would have held a thousand men, I'm sure. Let me put my brake on. Ta-da! Thousand man auditorium. Now we go up these little steps. And, yeah, it's pretty big. Wouldn't that have been cool, though, to be here? I'm sure, I guess they just had... You know, general meetings and stuff here. But it, it just kind of, it's an old ghost now, like I'll be and we'll all be at some point. But it's a beautiful day. Isn't that a beautiful sky? 80 degrees, low humidity. And uh, just walking around the uh, historical ruins of, or driving around the historical, well, they're not really ruins. It's just an old fort that's abandoned. And it was bought by, I think Shell Oil Company bought the property at one time. And then it's been other owners, but right now it's a, it is a, what they call a municipal utility utility district. Get your finger out of the video, rest. Okay, I believe I will. And uh, I do that occasionally, but I have to turn around here now because you can't go up those steps on the trike. So here we go, guys. Trike on, trike man. He tri I'm triking a, a, a trike man trike us. <laughs> It is nice. Not a soul out here, man. It's just like being camping. I mean, th this reminds me of of uh, Falcon Lake, actually, because it's the same uh, mesquite and brush. <clears throat> yeah, if I follow this all the way down, it goes to the creek that I think it's Moya Creek that runs through here. It's a crystal clear stream that feeds a big swimming pool. That's open in the summer, five bucks, if you want to go swim in there. Water's constantly coming in and going out just like Balmeray State Park in Texas. Only it's not as deep. We'll go up here and go to the left, see where that goes. It's on down here a little way yet. You can see there's pavement here for a stretch and then uh, come to a, a, there's an intersection here somewhere, I think it's right here, and there's pavement both ways, somewhat, it's mostly gone, but we'll go, we've been straight, that goes to the uh, creek, the bridge and the creek, and then this, I'm not sure, I think this goes over to uh, what they call Scales Road. I'm holding the deal right. Okay, now let's go. Pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. Get you an electric trike from electrictrikes.com and find you a place to ride them. When I bought this tiny home here at Fort Clark Springs, I knew they had trails here, but I didn't know they had near as much as they have. I mean, uh, I can ride over to the golf course, the swimming pool. They actually have a little bar that's open. Uh, I'm not sure if it's open every day of the week or what. I think it opens around four and uh, open for a few hours, but it's the, what was used to be the old officers uh, club. And uh, yeah, you can go in there and have you a beer. Or you can have you a beer at the uh, Golf course, two bucks. I hope I haven't got my finger in the video again. 
because I really can't see much from this side. Well, let's see, let's go right here. I don't know that I've been down this road. See there though, I mean, it's just a beautiful nothing, man. It's just miles and miles of empty trails, you know? You know, nice, cool breeze in your, in your face as you're triking along and yeah, pretty nice. In the summer, in like July and August, on this same trail at the same time, you'd be toast. <laughs> you'd be you'd be toasted. You know, 100 degrees, no wind. Yeah, I hear you. Low humidity though. Not as low as. Carazozo for sure, but low. Carazozo as in New Mexico. Out here when I'm walking in the mornings is when you see the deer and the turkeys. Uh, you don't see, well, it would just be a stroke of luck if we happen to see something today. Because they're... they're uh, you know, if you see what cattle are doing on days like this, if the cattle are laying down under a shade tree or whatever, then you can just bet that that's what deer are going to be doing. Trike man's moving on here now. Don't want to move too fast. I'm getting wind in the mic. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going that fast. Yeah, we'll go up here to the creek. I think the creek is not too far. Yeah, I have thought about getting a golf cart, but th this is better than a golf cart for me, by far. Easier to handle. I don't, it doesn't. Uh, I, I think golf carts go about 12 to 15 miles an hour in this thing. This one, this thing goes about 12 max. How far will it go? See, there's that clicking noise again. Huh. I don't know what that is. I think it's that short train, chain, but I'll figure it out. I tried to get to duplicate it so I could isolate it. But here we go for the whole trip nearly, or half the trip, and there's nothing, and then we get hit a bump, and here it comes. I don't know what it is. I'll wiggle a little bit. Yeah, it seems it does it more going to the left, yeah, than it does. If you go to the left, it does it. Pretty neat, huh? For those of you that like these videos, I, I enjoy taking the trike rides. And the only downside is holding the camera. I mean, is that bad? Not really. You know, I can hold it for about 10 or 12 minutes, and, and that's a good enough video. Because you get the idea, right? <laughs> Just a peaceful little drive. Old trike man's got him a pe peaceful place to and you can, you, you can obviously see that it's not very busy. I thought we'd get up here to Moya Springs. Let me see how much time has been on this thing. Uh, yeah, we'll go a few more minutes. Let's go, Triketh man. Triketh boy. Yeah, you can get turned around out here too. I guarantee you. I've gotten, I've gotten turned around out here walking, and uh, I kind of have to listen for the highway noise and head for that because that's where the fence is, and I can follow it wherever I want to go. Well, we're smoking now. You'd be getting some wind noise now. We're going about nine miles an hour. Pretty neat, huh? 
Yeah, you go, when you're riding this thing, you're going about three times as fast as you, you go walking. Looks like a tunnel down here. Yeah, but the, with all these trees overhanging the trail, you know, it's kind of like going through a tunnel. We may come to the creek right here. Uh, looks familiar. Maybe not, huh? You know, where you start seeing these big oak trees usually means you're close to the creek. Uh, but I don't see a... Yeah, there's something out here. Let's go this way. Oh, here it is up here. This is the creek up here. Yeah, we came to the same place we were before, guys. We just came a different way. So, guys, I'll get up here on the bridge where I was last time and end the video. And it'll be like watching the same video two times. All these old dead leaves. We'll go look at Moya Creek, a big tree right here. Okay. So there's a little wooden bridge here. It'd be a good place to have a picnic right here. You know, because they got a place to sit right out here. I guess you could fish in this thing. I don't know if there's fish in here or not. I did hear something jump or maybe somebody threw something in the water. Yeah, there's something going on right there. Oh, that's turtles jumping off that tree. Yeah, I, I scared all the turtles. You see them down there? Yeah, those turtles out there on the end, right over in here. They were just taking a good nap and I interrupted them. So, yeah, big live oak trees. And Moya Creek. They say when you cross Moya Creek, you, you, it washes your sins away. Well, that thing better be good at washing. So. See the little going over that right? That's what you're hearing. Water flowing over rocks or logs is a very peaceful thing. And I'm not sure what this is over here something anyway guys let me turn around here out of the sun and in the video facing turtle island or whatever it is over here one turtle one brave turtle left but anyway guys from fort clark springs track man says thumbs up carpe diem which means seize the day in latin carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you choose. Yeah, this would be a nice little spot to bring a book and put out a lawn chair or something and uh, listen to that stream and just leave the country. Well, there's an electric trike, guys. That's a Liberty electric trike from a Liberty electrictrikes.com very good so anyway guys thumbs up again keep your health and enjoy your life adios bye bye